There is the potential to be a thousand pound in sales just there. What's the prices like? Is it worth having a look around or what? Oh no, rip off. Oh, right, oh, I don't mean to be. I'm, I mean, tell me to piss off. You are going to pay for them, aren't you? Probably my best car boot sale of the year. So it's five o'clock in the morning and I'm off to a soggy bank holiday Monday car boot sale. But I need some petrol first. I need to get scammed by this machine before I start my day. <laughs> See when we get there. Right, here we are. I'm not too confident the weather's going to hold up that much. And I've just had a standoff with some 70 year old lady about parking spaces. But here we are. Good. Oh man, I owe you three pounds today. Why? I haven't forgot because you got me that hair dryer. Oh fuck it, I forgot about that. I, yeah. about that. I mean, um, two pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah, don't worry about that, mate. Mate, I've sorted out the car route the next week. Nice to see you. It yeah. worked, but it's so loud. You can just tell by looking at the filter. Yeah. I'm all excited. But I wasn't going to in your parade. I'm all excited. <laughs> um, I think 40 quid on that. Just yeah, shooting sure. that. Okay, everyone. Back off. <laughs> all right. How much is that one, mate? That's uh, four. I think I'm going to buy it. Thank you. I'll kickstart the day somehow. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're very Da Vinci looking, aren't they? Thank you. That's purchase done. Thank you. How much are you, Builder Bears? Five pounds. I don't know if that's the one anymore. Annoyingly, I've left my phone in the car. So everyone's there. Would you do seven pound for two? Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah. I'm gonna take a risk on it. There thank you go. You no, much. thank you so much. I appreciate that. Keep on. It's too big. Can't bother. Can't bother. Is that how you're gonna lay them out? Is it? Yeah. I'll have a look through while I do that for you. Then there you go. <laughs> two jobs in one. Just in case. There you go, thank you so much. I'll give it, I don't want to like, take it too much space, that's all. Thank you. Kind of works. Thank you. Oh, some more on here. So I'm without the phone today, I left it in the car. I'm not going to go back for it. I'm just going to, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to be going from gut today. Sorry, I'm on your way. No, not at all, not at all. Can I have a look at this in this clothing box? Is that all right? In fact, I'm getting it all out, so all right. I'll bring it over to you. Are you sure? I'll, I'll carry it. No, it's okay. I'll just take it like this for you. That's all right. Do you show me this coat of box over for you? No. No, you sure? I'm going to sell the box. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Just take, have a look through it. No worries. Just have a quick little browse. Not really real, Ralph. Well, if that was a shirt, I'd have had that. I like funky stuff. <laughs> Oh, was you waiting for me? You should have, should have told me to I get your paws out. I said I'd have pulled it over for you. Cool few bits. I might have to come back when you're all set up, I think. Okay. Please trust me. Is it badminton, is it? Yeah. The old ones. How much is that one? Oh, that's a pound. I've got to buy it for a quid, I think, just for the curiosity of it. Can we put it on the wall? Yeah. In your main case. Or on someone's... Someone's thank well, thank you. I just paid the wrong person, I'll bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll come and see you in a bit more setup. Thank you. I might go back and get the phone actually. Yeah, I've caved. I'm going to go get the phone. I've caved mainly because I can't be doing risky stuff like buying Builder Bears for a fiver just because I have a hunch. Do you know what I mean? I can't be spending money like that on hunches. Still early. Build a bear, floppy ears, rainbow. I mean, the one that one's not got spotty ears. Yeah, I think I fucked up there, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep, I'll keep that in mind, man. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. Hey, Johnny. Yes, mate. There's a Tesco Valley hair dryer up there. At least it might work, mate. <laughs> it's four pounds, I'm getting it. Less than that. Yeah, a couple of bits. I've been to the car. It's good. How much is the jacket, mate? This one's seven. This one, yeah? 
Would you be willing to take five on it, please? Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's that one. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much. I don't know if I've ever paid anybody through clothes before. <laughs> thank you. I don't know, I just thought you looked different. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah, you're all right. You good? Yeah, away there. Can I have a look through this box? Yeah. Is that all right? Space That's all right. Minute. How much are your clothing items? Um, like t-shirts, uh, three quid each, and everything Girl. else. Gotcha. I gotcha. Like I gotcha. Bits. It's a bit. It's a bit of both. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Did you sell them dishes in the end? No. 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 Good. Load of crap. Like yeah. you said. Doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit spacey, isn't they? Yeah. I'm, I'm, up, I'm up to get one for the garage. Got by all means, try it. Have a set. What are they? Oh, no, the the thing beach, is, for the beach, so you've got your cool box and the, the yeah, box. yeah. I know they're okay, like. You the, carry them the, on your back. I know they're yeah, Tommies, yeah. but yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would you consider twenty for the both? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Now I've got to buy them. <laughs> And you're on camera. Yeah, I'm, yeah <laughs> I'm proving what I said. Do you want me to fold them up? Is that alright? They look good. There's no like breaks, is there? That you, that you oh, know? no, no, no. Nothing no. at all. Absolutely nothing at all. Yeah. They've literally been bought and used them a couple of times and then we stopped going camping, hence. Let's see if I can put that. I bet they fit. I bet I can get them to fit. In there. There's one. There's not. I've got a bag and then uh, you can put that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be able to. I've, I've performed bigger miracles than a couple of chairs in a bag. I don't know if we'll like. This has got long straps, you see. Put your fingers, there you go. Yeah. Let's call that a miracle, mate. Is that what we call that? Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to be in anymore. Thank you very much. Why is that? Not very long by the look of it. I appreciate it. Like they're funky, aren't they? Tommy yeah, Bahamas I mean, as well. To be honest, yeah, the, 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 we are not going to Right, we're ready for the, like, the, uh, the game plan. Yeah! <laughs> Lovely stuff. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. No worries, mate. Thank you. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Is that a 20p price label? Proper car boot prices <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yeah. I wish I had something to buy off you. I've still got loads of stuff. We're having a clear out after 50 years. Um, yeah. I've just looked at everything. I collected those because we had a, we just sold a type two VW camper. Oh, nice. No, I bet they look wicked in there, didn't oh, they? It yeah. The old Tupperware stuff. Yeah, th it was, yeah. So it holds a bit of value now as well, doesn't it, still? Yeah, it does. Now, <sighs> that's all Lego. That's all oh, Lego. no. Lego. Yeah, no giant got Lego. <laughs> well, I'll see you when you get a bit more set up, I think. Okay. I'm going back to the car, I'm not carrying this around. Cool little chairs though, look at them. Am I in the way there? Nope. No, you carry on. How much is that one? I want a couple of quid. Sold, I think. That was nice and easy, weren't it? In and out of the car. You don't want to hang up for nothing. No, thank you. I wish I would, man. I'd, I'd, I'd save you, but. My garage is full of them now. <laughs> yeah, standard. Let's get these out of there for a start because that's a pain. Brilliant. Thank you well so much. You Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a 20 note. Everyone did, didn't they? Try and get a bit of change. They give you, they give you a big note. Yeah, I'll try and behave myself. You don't have any like, video games coming out, do you? No. No, no, no problem. Not, that's, that's okay. Worth an ask, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a portable DVD? A DVD thing, yeah. Don't tell me it's in the loft. <laughs> oh, bless you, thank you. Thank you. Um, How much are these jelly cats? Just jelly cats. <laughs> 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 oh, I might leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's too serious. You know Car boot sales are too serious. I know. If I find some, I'll point you in the direction. I actually bought this one, which was, I thought, very 
very, very yeah, it's a very nice. I've not seen one. For a yeah, cat. that's an older one as well. Yeah. So I've, not, I've not seen that one before. Is that, is that one as well? Yeah. That's the, the jelly cat lady, the yeah. jelly cat girl. Yeah. So, but my granddaughter actually collects them. I know yeah. everyone thinks I sell them. I doesn't, sell them doesn't matter what you do, does it? She loves them. Nanny, I got her a lovely swan the other day. Bless her. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. What do you look for? Anything and everything? Anything. That's that. if, there, if there's a bit to be made and I can be, and I can be bothered to process it, I'll do it. I can, yeah. Like that, for example. I don't know what that is, but if I, could, if I knew that was worth 20 quid and I'll take it yeah. home and just list it, done. Yeah. Whereas, I don't know, a DVD player, I've got to test it. I've been doing it for 40 years. 40. I'm close. No, not close, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. Hand, Nearly. But, you know, hey, ho. Hey, you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing well. well, it's freedom as well, isn't it? Yeah, I just think a couple of hours exercise. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I think. That's why I'm so slim and self like. You're doing you well, see. yes, you're doing well. <laughs> Not bad, I'm 67. <laughs> I just think the, the freedom it's gave me. Yeah. Uh, I, brought, right. I brought my daughter up, she hasn't had to go into childcare. Yeah, that's right. All those things. Good for you, I'm glad to hear it. Let's find that, let's find that Mo now. I'll never be a millionaire, but Listen, we'll get there. Matter. I no. actually bought a picture. Oh, very nice. Yeah, um, See, I wouldn't know what I'm looking at. Um, I'll have a clue. I actually paid 800 quid, and the auctioneer, who's a friend of mine, went, you are going to pay for them, aren't you? Sold them for two grand. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll teach so him. <laughs> you know? Good luck. How much are these, please? Seven. Oh, sorry, I meant to say, what size are they? Good morning. me. Well, they're UK seven. Pound per size. Good job, good job they're not my size, which is an 11. <laughs> what about those Adidas there? They look quite big. And halves. How much are they? Uh, so these are seven quid each as well. What's that? They're good condition, aren't they? What's in the blue box? They added us as well. I don't mean to be. I mean, tell me to piss off. Oh, smaller ones, yeah. Campus. Yeah. Would you consider a five or a pair on all four? No. 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 Thank you. What would be the best on all four? We've got 7, 14, 28, 25? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay, thank you so much. I think I'm trying my best to spend all my money so I can go home. I think we're doing all right today for weather though. Yeah. And what about the Supergas? Only four quid for those because I've worn them Dirty. a lot. Yeah. Um, so 29, yeah, I'll do that, that's fine. Thank you cool. so much, I appreciate that. Cleared a bit of space while you were setting up. <laughs> To learn what she knows about oil paintings. Did you hear that? No. About buying paintings for 200 and selling it for 1,000. I need to learn that trade. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You too. I'm almost out, I think. I'm going to start a dosh. Is that Ricky? Right. You haven't met before, I don't think. Oh, you watch the channel? Yeah. Thank you, man. I Regular. appreciate that. Yeah. Found much? Good today. Um, not really, to be honest. Yeah, but it's like a selection of stuff, isn't it? No, it's a good one over there. Like these sell pretty easy. And got those uh, weird face bowls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're I smart as well. You actually got them once, yeah. so it made me look at them. I think I the last week, I think it was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, like before. Like yeah, it's like a set of bowls, mugs, and plates. But... I think I'm almost out of cash. I only bought 100 quid. I thought that, I thought that <laughs> it's going to be a bit fing <laughs> rainy today. It ain't, is it? Good. <laughs> right. I've run out of cash. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, mate. Appreciate yeah. you, bro. Oh, excuse me, mate. Looks like, it looks like this is the stall to be at. How much are your boots? 10 quid. 10 quid. And how much are these ones? 5 quid. Yeah, f*** it. I think all of them is bought shoes. 15. Why are you 15? I ain't going anywhere. Did I speak to you last year? Do you do like clearances and stuff? Is it you? No, not you. Not you, not you either. Are you going to be spreading this out? Am I in your way? No, you crack Tell me, mate. I'll move out the way. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. All right, 18. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to round it up. What are you fucking looking at, you pair of bastards? Is it a matter of how long you can stay silent for? And not saying, okay, cool. You, you win. Oh. I think just that then for now. Unfortunately, it's 18. Is yeah, that all right? So we're trying to round it. Oh wait, I've lost my cash. Oh, I've got my cash. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers, I appreciate man. that. Too good. Just grab my massive bag of oak. 
quickie wings. I bought them chairs in the end. Did you? What? They're nice. I paid 20 for the pair. But the, what's that? 20 for the hairdryer. I'm not that bothered about it, but I'll yeah. take your money. What are they They're like 35 brand new. Oh, <laughs> well, one for the garage. If I, if I clear one off, I'll have a free one, won't I? I was convinced you were going to have them. That's why I hung around. I thought, I'll let you have a bash. Hmm? Where are you going after it? Nowhere. Not like you professionals. I'm off home, mate. Because I thought, I thought it was going to be a crap rainy day today. And I'm almost done out already. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Thank you for that, guys. I appreciate it. I think all I've got is shoes. Shoes, footwear, trainers. A shoe day. A shoe day. I might actually get this, you know. I'm good at them. I believe in you. Ooh. I think that's just look. That's been but... I believe in you, Johnny. How much is this, buddy? That's uh, oh, what is hundred, hundred pounds? Hundred pounds? Yeah, it's brand new. I use it only once for the car. Does it come with a dog? Uh, yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I definitely don't want it then. Thank you. If you get holes in like 20, 20 jumpers, twenty t-shirts. No, just a jumper and, and a t-shirt. T-shirt. It's perfect. It's I just couldn't, just couldn't. I feel like I've tried them little waist patches on before and I feel like I'm being like sucked in by a boa constrictor. Yeah, it's nice when you take it off. Is it like taking a bra off? Yeah. <laughs> I know now why my lips go, oh. Gross. No, that noise you made. You carry this around for me and I'll give you your £1.50 back. £3. Pound. See you. I'm going, back to the, I'm going to go back to the car actually. Actually, is it worth it? Yeah, should, we, should we just follow Johnny everywhere we go? Three. What? Three. Yeah, turtles. Okay, cool. How much are they? 40 quid. I've got about 12 quid left, Johnny. See you, have fun. See you later, mate. He called me mate, but he doesn't mean it. How much is that one? Who is it? Somebody, yeah, I'll buy it. Sorry? I'll research it later. Okay. Thank you. You sound like a seasoned professional. <laughs> professional booter. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, they're more modern. Thank you anyway. Though. I do. I do appreciate it. Sorry. We've emptied the bag. I wanted to come and have a look at your toys. Do you mind if I get them out a little bit? Is that all right? I mean, I'll follow you on YouTube. Oh, hello, mate. You all right? Not too bad. Yeah, good to meet you, my man. Good luck, mate. Nice to meet you. Making sure you ain't leaving any change in there. What half of this stuff is. That's what happens, isn't it? <laughs> How much are you asking for like your golf cover heads and stuff? Right. And hats. <sighs> I've no idea yet, mate, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm a rubbish man, Okay. You should like that as a puppet. <laughs> Do you know what? I've they're all my old mans and people have been buying them for puppets. Yeah. Like play groups and that. Well, mate, how, how much are your jackets going to be? Gives me a rough idea where your pricing is. The jacket. Like these things? Uh, fiver. Fiver, okay. They're all pink. <laughs> you are, you are right though. Um, what about this pile here then, mate? But well, we don't want him around here then, do we? A tenner for it. Yeah, what do you reckon? Stuff. What do you reckon, mate? 15? 20. I think I'm at 15. I don't mind. I don't mind not doing the deal. I'm sure. I'm sure it will sell today for you. I'm sure somebody will buy it. I don't think it. I don't think it's going to last long, is it? Look, I'm not even trying to hard bargain you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this, this, this golf stuff, 15, golf stuff sells. Gold stuff. Like I that. appreciate. It. Yeah, yeah, of course. Golf stuff sells regardless, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, I know you're yeah, not yeah. going to struggle to sell it. How much are your um, bits in here? 
These little, these little key ring bits. How about that? This key ring and this thing here. Oh, what is that? Is that a? Is it a ring? I don't know what it is. Try and turn it on. I've got no idea. I think I all the Scotty cameras. Got a deal on them as well. Twenty quid of the lot. Go on then. Cheers, mate. I'm not even joking. I reckon. Oh, I've got a tenner left. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it, thank you so much. Have you got a Scotty Cameron then? No. Hi, <laughs> Thanks guys, I appreciate yeah. it, have a good one. Boom, I'm literally down to my last 15 quid. Oh, I thought I was, do you remember John Wilson go fishing? No, never remember that? <laughs> no. Back in the day, never mind. We can't share a moment there then. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Oh, arch. Out there, right? know, look at that, look at it all. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Worth getting up for. for that box you got in your hand? Mm. Give me a fiver for it. Can't argue, can you? Can you? Try. Well, so, see a bit of shrapnel and some paper, plastic. <laughs> Sell it. I think I should let him chew this. No. <sighs> do you want a new dot? Do you want a new coat, boy? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, you can see everything. I'll fit you as well. One, no, I thought it was, but. Uh, country pet, but look, it'll fit you. What was the prices like? Is it worth having a look around or what? Oh no, rip off my. Oh, right, fair. <laughs> fair. That's but a spark in your it. charm, Ricky. You know. My charm. <laughs> my charm is Joey Tribbiani, mate. That's it. Can I have a look in this bag you got here? Of course. I've got to dig away. No, I'm going to try and carefully open it, but it I don't know if I can. Soft toys. It, probably yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, that's okay. why I never look. I'll just rip it open, that's fine. You sure? Yeah. I'll do it in a way that you can still use it again. There you go. <laughs> Nothing for me in there, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. I'll just break your bag for no reason. <laughs> Don't worry. Should have waited, shouldn't I? I can see it all now. Exactly right. <laughs> I want to, yeah, this all needs filling in. I've got like opposite patches, so that's blank and that's blank. To put them together, that's a whole arm, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got to like fill them all in. Turkey wear. North Face Gucci. Yes, it's genuine. <laughs> yeah, genuine, gen, gen, yeah. Gen, genuine snide is what they say, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing three pound for one pound is a mistake on there. Am I being thick? What are we looking at? No, they're three for a pound. Oh no, I was it's because I was seeing the pound sign as well. Like three pound for one pound. I was trying to work out what the deal was. I was being a bit thick. No, it's probably me no, no don't worry about it, mate. It's I'll me, just it's me being yeah, thick. ignore me. Well, to be three for a pound. Let me turn that round so we don't make anybody. No, else no, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to be. A I was just wanted to make sure I wasn't no, misunderstanding. That was all. That, that was is, all. Yeah, he's written yeah I promise you. Round. I'm going to take three of those. All right. Can I get some dry ones? <laughs> They're not three for a pound at all. They're four for a pound. Four for a pound. Bless you. Thank you. That's okay. Don't worry about that. I'll take four of those, it's nice and easy. I've got some bits that need to go in them tonight. Yeah, I weren't being a prick, I just before I went in, I wanted to make sure I was getting the information yeah, right. Yeah. Right, thank you so right, much, I appreciate you. that, mate. There's probably a mark up around here somewhere, right again. There it is, look. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm gonna go down here, back up again and out, I think. Oh, no idea. oh, oh so sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a shame, good price, wrong size. Sorry? It's a shame, it's a good price, wrong size. Oh. How much are your caps, please? Depends on which one. Uh, Canada's three. That one. What size is that? That one. A two. Um, Farnborough Airshow. Did, did you go, did you? I worked at Farnborough in air traffic from 85 to 89. I was then posted to Heathrow to do air military information, but I went back to farm for two years. Military or just uh, or just other stuff? I was there. I was there when it was RAE. RAE. Um, left before Tag took over. Yeah, fair. Um, how much is this one? Did you say? Sorry. Two pound. It goes with the top, doesn't it? I can't wait. No. Yeah, that's all right. I'll buy that. Thank you. I like, I like, I like them ones. Absolute Thank pleasure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, it's a nice one. Isn't it? I don't think I need. A, I don't think I need one of those though. Lightened. Yeah, I'm sure to the right person, it's going to be decent. And how much is that one? 
Pound, she says. I think I'd go a pound on it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll buy that one then. Get me out of here before I end up losing all my pounds. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a, he's a puppy. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the hats. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. partial to a cap. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we'll go up here, which is the last row, even though it's the first row. I've not been up it yet. How much are these? How much are these? Uh, I meant, three... sorry, sorry, my apologies. Oh, oh, you know, I can't remember. How much are they anyway? Three quid. Three quid. I should, I should ask one question at a time, shouldn't I? <laughs> right. But I know, but I, but I know what I need to ask you know first. Yet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forty-one. There you go. I think oh, that's seven. a yeah, seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> They're in good shape, aren't they? Yeah. I tried a couple of times to get back into it, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'll buy them. Thank you. Oh, I've got, I've got some. It's just if I've got. Yeah, look, loads of money. <laughs> Lovely, thank you thank very much. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. I think your your rail's on a wing and a prayer, isn't it? I know. Yeah. It was alright at home. And yeah. then I came here and I was like, oh, I need another brace across it, can I? That just moved on its own, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm, not bad, I guess. I haven't seen any of your videos recently. I've been putting loads out. Tons. Put one a day, actually, for the last four months, I think. Give really? or take. Yeah. Oh, but I think it depends what you're watching at the time, whether, whether shit comes up in your, well, it's my, your feed it's, it's and stuff. Wife. Yeah. She, she, watches, she, she watches quite. What, reselling and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, mate. No right. right, I'm calling it there. Done, done. That little golfing pickup is the one. I think you would have saw just then, I just hit the absolute mother load. <laughs> oh, I need to get home and do some proper research into this because if we're correct, I've most likely got four figures of sales on my hands here in just one little pickup. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't get to a Saturday car boot. I didn't get to a Sunday car boot. Emma just messaged me. Ugh. Looks like Oasis are getting back together tomorrow at 8 a.m. 27th, 8 a.m., depending when this video comes out. It's quite important, but anyway. I didn't get to a Saturday car boot or rained off. I didn't bother with a Sunday car boot. I don't do soggy fields. And today's bank holiday Monday, and I had to go and scratch that itch. I took £130 just thinking to myself, even if you get a few bits that are cheaper than the charity shop, life's good. But oh boy, I've just spent a lot of time doing some research and legit checking these items and two of them 100% good. Another one I'm just finishing doing finalising, but I'm pretty sure I've got some good, good bits today. I'm just downloading the footage as we speak onto the iPad. I haven't seen any of it yet, so I hope it's good for you. I'm just going to grab stuff and show you, to be honest. So these two here, there are two Tommy Bahama low riding beach chairs. You've got... Obviously, they're Tommy Bahama, fantastic brand. Just the wrong end of the season, really, to be honest. They might be going in the loft until next year. But you've got little pillows on the back, little space, little cooler spaces for your beer and stuff. What's in there? Nothing, but that's like a beer cooler in there. That's just like a normal pocket. So we've got that one in that design, like blues and reds with the logo going across there. And then we've got the same one in a blue colour with the pattern and the logos going across there. He wanted £15 each, I offered him £20 for the pair, and he accepted. They're not worth what I thought they would be. I'm going to make money, but they're nowhere near as valuable as I was hoping. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Just spotted these, actually, and I haven't even looked them up yet. They were behind there. I've done some research on most of this stuff. I haven't had a chance to do this one because I've just found them again. But I paid £3 for these because they are very heavy, which normally means better quality, and in immaculate condition. They are by a company called Oxello, never heard of it before, like a sneaker design with the classic four-wheeled skate. So I'm going to estimate £30 plus, but I don't know. I'm going to put a screenshot up here because when it comes to editing, I would have done the research. They've even still got the size stickers on. They're either going to be some Amazon brand or they're going to be decent. Oxello. 
We'll see. Paid three pounds. Two pounds for this vintage night coat from the late 90s, early 2000s. Got a nice spell out there. Probably early 2000s, actually. Very white, white UK look, yeah. On that black tag, I'm pretty sure that's like 2002-ish era. Spell out there on the back. Nice little hit there. There's a bit down the arm somewhere as well. Unfortunately, both of the zip pockets don't work. They're knackered. But even in that condition, for two quid, I'll still flip that for a tenner on Vinted because the rest of it's all right. And somebody could fix the zip if they wanted. Had I would known about the pockets and that, would I have picked it up? Yeah, probably still, yeah. I can't find this anywhere, like solds and stuff, but this is Fila from the Fila Van Gogh Museum. It's got a really nice little front. Really, really love the style. If this was my size, I'd keep this. But unfortunately, it's not. Very sort of chore wear, but it's got what I would imagine is a Vincent Van Gogh artwork on the inside. Fila. The painting comes to me as if in a dream. Vincent van Gogh. Nice, nice little jacket to be fair. I've got a bit of dusty there, but that'll come off. Really, really nice colours. Really, really nice style and design. It is a men's. Because I've seen a man wearing it in the modelling pictures. I managed to find a post from 2022, I think, from Fila Singapore's Facebook page of them releasing all these. Paid £5 for that. She wanted 7 I offered 5 And she said, yes, no problem. Which was really kind. Pound each, we've got some Maya, like, uh, what do they call it? Linen trousers and some very sparkly Tommy Hilfiger ladies trousers. They've got like rhinestones all over it. Cause I'm a rhinestone cow. Forget them. Yeah, Milan's pound on those. And they came from the same people where I picked up this Boeing hat. I think that was a pound. Nice one actually. Is that even, oh, I don't think it's broken. Oh no, it's not. Phew, I like the style of that. But I'll probably sell it. And I picked up a pair of used but good condition Altberg Defenders. And a second pair of used but even better condition Altberg Defenders. £10 and £5. So I paid £15 for the pair. So they owe me £7.50 a pair. And the trousers and the hat was all a pound each. So 15, 16, 17. I paid I spent 18 pounds with them. I make three times that much on one pair of shoes. So we're doing all right so far. It was a lovely old chap as I was going around towards the end of the car boot sale selling a few things. And he had a few vintage hats. So I thought I'd take a few from him. The Wallaby Challenge, just looks like a cool graphic hat. Snapback and Horizon Air. I think Horizon is a phone company, a phone company, a phone company and Air. It might just be like the airline they did or something. It's a promotional cap by the look of it, but again, Another nice vintage snapback trucker, two pound and one pound. Now we can look at the absolute fails. So I'll tell you my reasoning behind this. So I, so I wanted five pound a builder. I would never pay five pound a builder bet unless five pound a bear. I looked at these and was like, I'll give you seven pound for the pair. She said, okay, Lion King, Young Nala, not worth much at all. And then this one, the reason why I picked it up was something in my head was telling me bunnies with pattern ears, they're worth money. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. But I didn't have my phone on me. Like I said, I'm just going to go with gut. So I bought them. Now, obviously, I've done my research. As I was walking back to empty the car, I thought, I might as well get my phone while I'm here. So I grabbed my phone, did a quick research. And it's obviously the jelly cats with the floral ears and stuff that are worth the money. The jelly cat bunnies. So I had, like, bunny in my head, patterned ears. I haven't got my phone. I'm just going to go with my gut. My gut failed me. I paid £7. I'll get my money back. But I was hoping that was going to be a 50-odd quid bear. So there's my reasoning. So look out for jelly cats with the floral ears. Don't bother with those. Four pound for Tommy Rock and Roll. It's not worth as much as I was hoping it was going to be. This is the Rock and Roll Maze. I think he's about 12 to 15 quid. If that's not as good as the, um, what do you call it? One Scrooble Scramble. I did have this on my phone. I, I did do some research into this on my phone. I was, even, I was there trying, I was Google imaging that, trying to find out how to spell it. Just realised it's really written down here. Jonah Barrington Fury Vintage Squash Racket. See the Adidas through there? Not terrible condition, to be fair. Not terrible at all. Paid £1 for this. I think there's 15 to 20 quid back out of that. No dramas. Nice little piece, actually. There was a lady there that was selling shoes. She wanted £7 a pair. I put five pairs to get four pairs together and said, would you accept 20 She said, no. Fair enough. So I upped my price to 25 and she accepted as I was pulling them out, she pulled out another pair, so I paid £4 for those. So what I'm about to show you now costs a grand total of £29. Not too bad. 
we've got some supergas they do need a blamming good cleanup these were four pound that she wanted when they came out but i can get them cleaned up i don't know if that rainbow means anything special special edition or something but four pounds for those not a problem i'll pay that in i'll pay more than that in a charity shop these adidas's what are they adidas campus used but in a box is that even the original box yeah it is yeah a pair of adidas sambas which are really quite good condition wise another pair of adidas sambas in good condition and another pair of black leather adidas sambas the other ones are suede so they owe me just so 30 divided by five is six 29 pound paid they owe me just a five pound 80 odd pence each for a pair that's an absolute bargain but well, even though there's some really really good bits there i think that's all the guff out the way because i'm trying to get to this next bit oh my god and you would have seen hopefully i'm hoping it picked up on camera so there's a chap oh let me show you this as well quickly paid two pound for that it's goblin hobgoblin whatever his name is gob goblin something like that from spider-man 2002 i think he's missing a helmet and i think he comes with a stand as well normally but I think it's still worth 12 to 15 on that. Is it everything before I waste any more time of yours? Yeah. Right, so there's a chap there. He had loads of golf stuff. He had some good bits. I said, how much are your prices? He said, you put a pile together and then we'll go from there. So I did put a pile together, offered him a tenner. He said, it's got to be more than that, mate. I said, all right, 15. I'm Denard, got his mate over. I said, okay. I was like, cool. As I was finalising the deal, I heard somebody call out the name of this stuff and was like, oh, run over. And I just put it in my bag, paid the man quickly. And while I was there, I was looking at a few other different bits and pieces and I spent another fiver with him. So 20 pound I paid for all this, 20 pound bargains. We've got a ping hat with like little Steve, Steve's from people just do nothing ears. Really nice one. Probably, I don't know, like 15, 18 quid on that one, maybe. But you know, I'm gonna listen to it for like 12 quid to get it shot, pun intended. Really nice barber wax hat. Just a really nice condition one. This is all part of the £20 deal. £20 back there, isn't it? Let's face it. £20 back there in those two hats. Let's see if it turns on. Nope. But it only takes a USB with the old USB. A Bushnell range finder, I believe this is. Added that towards the end along with this OEM Porsche keyring. Paid a five for that. Them two. I don't mind that. Hopefully I'll get like 20 quid for that rangefinder if it's still in use, if it's not a defunct technology by now. And then of course, wow, that could be a thumbnail to be fair. Wow, wow, wow. For those of you that don't know, these are head covers for golf by Scotty Cameron. Scotty Cameron is so renowned in the golf industry. I'm not sure if I said golf or golf, golf then so renowned in the golfing industry he does putters and those putters can reach crazy money crazy crazy money but so can his head covers and other accessories this is the set that i'm still trying to finish legit checking i've done those two they're fine but i have seen one of these which has a tag right on the inside but these don't have any tags on but the pattern matches perfectly on all the ones i've, I've checked them side by side everything matches perfectly i am 90 percent sure these ones are good as well and if they are, which I think they are, a set of these with the putter cover that comes with it, the same pattern, it's called like caution tape or something. Previous solds of a grand. Outside of that, 120 to 180 each. Now we've got stiff, small different sizes here. So I'm guessing we've got like woods, wedges and driver, something like that. See the difference in sizes, small, medium and large set. If they are legit and I am quite confident they are, the quality is just perfect. Everything's right everything's correct i'm just going to research a little bit more before i sell these ones but these ones i can get to selling straight away <sighs> could be looking at like 500 odd quid just there because you know again i'm always going to sell stuff cheaper regardless so if the sale if the market value on this is like a grand probably won't be because it hasn't got the putter cover but let's say take that away the market let's say take that away and needs a 700 odd quid I'm going to shift them as fast as I can, you know I will. And these ones here, this one is really worth talking about. Again, this one, if it comes in a big set, it comes in a set of four. So again, small, medium, large, whatever the, whatever the clubs are. I'm not a golf And the putter cover, but I've only got one of each. See, there's one of the tags in there. A, M and E for title list. 
AM and E stretch fur. So we're okay on that one for sure, for sure. I think people are getting like 150 for this one alone. I'm gonna do some proper research, like proper in-depth research. I'm just giving you a rough idea now of what I've figured out so far. I've even been on the Scotty Cameron website. I'll have some details of the ones up here that I can for you. Again, this one, I've checked it all out. It's really, really good. Scotty Cameron, milled putters. 2013, this one here, by the way, was released in 2015 exclusively to Scotty Cameron members. And the same with this one. Uh, 2013 crawfish something I'm trying to remember off my head but only 500 of these were ever made ever now scotty cameron is more well known well he is very well known i think i'm pretty sure all he does is putters so putter cover <sighs> we have done Rick. yeah just going out love you bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> bless him this is limited to 500 so if my research is correct bye love you darling if my research is correct and these i'm going to be getting around about 600 for i think this one's about 240 six seven eight fifty 150 i say not i say a thousand pounds there is the potential to be a thousand pound in sales just there from today's car boot sale and i've got all the rest of it and I managed to bring a tenner home with me as well. So I spent about 120 quid. Probably my best car boot sale of the year. And I, and I mean that for many different factors. The items were cheap. I'm talking about these ones in particular. Like the star of the show. They're cheap. They're small, which means they'll pack easy. Very sought after. Command a high price. Easy to list. Easy to ship. Easy to get rid of. Putting all those into consideration... With everything else that's on this table as well, I am very happy to say, and I've had some good scores over this season so far, but this has to be my favourite pickup of the season. Very, very happy indeed. Now I'm going to get to work and start sorting all of this stuff out. Hope you guys have managed to get to a few car boot sales this weekend. I know the weather has been a bit poor, hasn't it? Let's face it. But I hope you still managed to get some stuff regardless to help move your eBay business, vintage business, whatever it is that you do, forward up 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 onwards and upwards and i haven't done any research into this yet whatsoever but it's a fantastic looking key ring oem by the look of it really highly done this is metal really high detail if you want a chance to win this one just comment down below let me know something that you liked about the video let me know something you didn't like about the video tell me some things that you picked up at the weekend and you will automatically be entered into a draw for this key ring Hopefully, I'll do some research and it's worth 100 quid, then somebody's going to get a big value item. It might not be that. I'm going to say probably 20 or 30 quid, if that. So it's time to jump in. The dust has settled. It's been a few hours now since I've been to the car boot sale. I've photographed a lot of stuff, listed a few things, and I've done some more checks on those Scotty Cameron putters. After all of my initial excitement and glee and happiness... And thinking that I came into a really good deal, even though I did protect myself by bartering the deal to begin with, I had a barber cap and a few things that I knew my money was going to be safe on. Because trust me, if I had guaranteed authenticity in the field that those Cameron heads are legit, I would have paid whatever he asked me to pay, to be honest. But they are highly fake. I'm currently in talks with people on the Scotty Cameron collectors page on Facebook and a few other people trying to fully legit check these items for me but it's looking like they might might be copies so even though two of them have a tags there's one that's got a similar putter to mine different design his one has been posted before and it shows that everybody's saying it's fake now of course i'm not just going to listen to any old dave i'm going to take as many comments as i can and um what's the word lean towards the most common answer if that's fake so be it but it's just a lesson and maybe a warning or kind of insight into buying things on the car boot sale now i knew scotty cameron is a very strong brand i also know scotty cameron is heavily faked which is why when i was on the field i was doing my haggling some of you at the screen would have been saying but you always pay fair prices what's the matter with you what are you doing this time this is why this is why so apparently on the older gallery head covers, the chain stitching is a thing because of obviously the age and stuff, but the newer gallery stuff 
Ism. Now, I don't know what age 2013 equates to when it comes to old or new gallery, but I know those ones from 2018, those caution tape ones, they have chain stitching and there are no tags on the inside. So I'm going to do some more legit checking. I'm not going to change the concept of the video. I'm just going to add this in there. I'm going to do some more legit checking, really solidify, hone down on if they are and if they're not, which ones aren't and which ones are. And then hopefully we'll have an update video soon. Just be careful out there, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.